to be honest, I would rather be here than in England. Good to see you again, all good man. No regrets at all, for now. I would say there is certain quality and standards Australia might give you. Why do people move to Australia? That is the question. So I'm going to ask a few people why they made the move to come here to Australia and also about the experience of living here in Australia and what advice would they give to someone from their country that's thinking of moving to Australia. So let's go, let's go get this. Let's do this. Good morning. Good morning. What's good? Wie geht's? Sehr gut, danke. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, okay, what's your name? My name is Nora. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Germany, Hamburg. <laughs> Hamburg in Germany? Yeah. Good. Uh, is that where the hamburger come from? Come from? Yes, I think so. The best one. <laughs> best oh. food from Germany anyway. <laughs> okay. How long have you been in Australia? So I lived here for four years now. So today I've got this lovely lady all the way from the UK, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so what's your name? I'm Romana. I'm from London. Okay, where about in London? East London. Okay. Like Leighton. And how Stratford. long have you been in Australia? One and a half years. Wow. And how are you finding, how, how are you liking Australia? Yeah, I like it. I like it more than I like England. Definitely. Oh. Okay. So first of all, what's your name? Uh, Emmanuel Hollabot. And what's your background? Uh, I was born in Nigeria. Yeah. Lagos? Yeah, Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been in Australia? Uh, I'd say it's more than a decade. My what? name is Boni, B O N Y. It's Boni Korean. I'm from India. Okay, which part of India are you from? I'm from south part of India. Have you ever heard about a place named Kerala? Which Kerala. is the southmost part of uh, India, yeah. Okay, so tell me, so far, what do you like about Australia? So the weather here is really amazing. I think you can, uh, anyone that you're going to ask can tell you the weather's amazing. The wages are a lot better than the wages in England. The quality of life is a lot better. Actually, you can afford to live in much nicer places in Sydney than you ever could live in London. So, wow. Yeah, no, it's true. Like you, my friend's got a flat in Central, um, in Central Sydney. It's like a two-bedroom flat, and it's so beautiful. And you could, you could not afford anything like that in London on the on like a normal wage. Um, the nature is really nice. So in Sydney, you have a lot of um, nature inside the city. So that's quite nice. How long have you been in Australia? In Australia, I'm in Australia for maybe in three years, not more than three years. Last three years I've been in Australia. I'm actually a student at, at the moment. I'm studying here. Oh, what are you studying? I'm doing my community service course in uh, one of the college in Sydney itself. And how's that going? Yeah, pretty much cool. I actually did a master's in uh, business administration earlier and I actually came down to do community service which actually looks futuristic for myself. Now what do you like about living in Australia? Well, Australia is a multicultural country like, uh, you know, everything is cool, yeah. No threats, no bomb, no terror, you know. It's a good place to live to raise a family. Yeah, I like it here. So tell me, what do you like about Australia so far? The beaches, the hot weather during summer. <laughs> and yeah, the, the different cultures around here. So many different people. Uh, to, uh, apart from the climate, I would, I would love to say that, you know, most of the people, I was living in Melbourne when I actually came into Australia. And um, I think one of the best part about Melbourne is the climate, you know. You can get four seasons in a day. That's what usually people used to say about Melbourne. Well, so like the coffee is really good. The coffee here is good. Everyone always talks about coffee in Australia is good, it's true. Coffee in Australia is pretty good. So rate the coffee. Rate the coffee in Australia on one to 10. I'll give it uh, an eight out of 10, like overall. The coffee here is pretty good generally. Where you, wherever you go, it's pretty good coffee. Well, wow, that's pretty high because a lot of New Zealanders would rate it like a five out of ten. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that just speaks a lot about London coffee, to be honest. Uh, now, all good. Hey, what do you miss about home? <laughs> of course, my family and friends, but um, the biggest thing I miss is the German bread, to be honest, the German food. <laughs> okay, what's the difference between the German bread and, and the Australian bread? I can't even describe it because uh, 
I don't know, Australians wouldn't know. It's like so, it's like harder and softer at the same time and the taste is just better. It's just oh well, different. if you know, you know. So you, you guys must go, need to go to Germany to get your bread. And beer. Definitely. <laughs> now, here's the question. You must miss something about home. What do you miss about home the most? Oh, I miss my uh, parents, of course. The food my mom cook every day, yeah. Pr pretty much I uh, miss all my friends and relatives. Uh, firstly, I miss my friends over there. Yeah, because I got a great big circle of friends. Big boys doing well. So I miss them and uh, I miss my family as well. And uh, I miss the food. <laughs> okay, yeah. what's your favorite food in Nigeria? Uh, pounded yam. Pounded yam. What advice would you give someone in Germany that's thinking of moving to Australia? I would just say, just do it. Just do it straight away as soon as the borders open. Just go like straight away. Otherwise, you will think about it too much and you probably won't do it. <laughs> cool. Any regrets of being here? No regrets at all for now <laughs> okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much so last question if there were any advice you could give to someone let's say in the UK that is thinking of moving to Australia what would that be I would say 100% do it do not bring two suitcases full of stuff everyone always brings over a lot of stuff um, you people will tell you you don't need jackets you will need something warm just don't bring all summer clothes bring something warm um, Everyone told me that I was going to have to check for snakes and spiders everywhere I went, but it's not true. Like maybe a bit more in the countryside, but not in the city. Like uh, I did actually initially check every single toilet, like every time I went to the toilet. Um, and it, yeah, you're pretty safe, man. There's, you're not really going to get bitten by spiders in the city. So, but definitely do. Australia is amazing. You will see such beautiful nature. The weather is gorgeous. Um, you get different kinds of friendly where you, wherever you go. You'll see things that you've never seen before. Um, be prepared for casual racism, because that's the thing here, obviously. Yeah, we're, we're just speaking, we're just bringing the right info. We're speaking the truth. That's what's up, you know? You can't but, sugarcoat stuff. Yeah. Tell it like it is, that's what's up. And, uh, and one more thing I'm going to tell my guys over there, when you're coming here, you bring the roots, the jedi jedi, Bring it from there because we don't have it here. When you bring it here, you're gonna enjoy. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, explain, explain about the root, ah, the roots. The roots really work for the men. We need, you know. Yeah. That's when you wake up in the morning and your your ding don't wake up with you. <laughs> <laughs> we really need it. So, yeah. What are you saying? The root is like some kind of uh, Viagra or something. Yeah, it works kind of similar to Viagra, yeah, but better than Viagra. No side effects. Very good because I was raised to always have that. Every morning when we wake up, my mom do it, like uh, in a bottle like this, she cut it, put it in a bottle and pour water in it. So after like a uh, few days, we start to take it every morning when we wake up. So it makes you be a full man, a strong man. So like <laughs> it, it gives you the motivation to, to, to get your day started. Yeah, it gives you the motivation to get your day started and uh, most important, you know, a man will be a man, and uh, and I believe to be a man, you have to be able to handle your woman properly, you know. Because most of my friends here, yeah, they all complain, or oh, look, ah, oh, they can't do this, they can't do that. Say, so baby, one day I take you to Africa, we give you the roots, then you will thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any last words before before we end this? Yeah, what I'll say is that uh, I say thank you to Australian government for having me here because they look after me. Since I've been here, Australia is a beautiful country, I won't lie. I'm back home, my place too. Shout out to all my guys and my country people. I love you guys so Bless up. That's what's up. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, if you're watching this from Nigeria, yeah. my man's giving you guys shout out. Shout out to the yeah. area boys in, in Lagos. Yeah. You know, Musha, we get down. Down the Musha in Lagos, the Musha boys. I love you and the island. I love you boys. Yeah, yeah that's what's All up. Best, yeah. Okay, thank you, my brother. Yeah, one love, man. Yeah, one love, one love. Yeah. Respect. 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 Yeah. What advice would you give someone out, out there, let's say in India, that's thinking of making that move across, you know, to Sydney, Australia? Uh, the best thing I could say is like uh, bring a good attitude um, and a good way of like, you know, adapting to the culture and um, 
you know, if you actually love moving into a different place like a developed nation, definitely Australia is your place. Do good research, you will love your decisions. So as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Uh, if you want a part two to this video, please drop us a comment. Make sure you subscribe, give us a like, always stay in the boss lane. You know how we do it. Peace out. Stay blessed. That's what's up.